Hello, this is Craig, and I changed the basic way that this little prototype goes. First thing I did is I changed the office around, so down here, um, the uh, uh, there's no longer a background image, but I can fix that, but these objects actually exist in the office, and if she weren't talking to me, I'd be able to mouse over her and get information. Um, the plot is exactly the same. She's blackmailing us into hacking the school network. However, you if you remember the old one, it now looks a little bit different. Um, gone are the giant lists, and instead I'm using this kind of uh, node graph situation where I've simplified it to the point where every single thing you do is a single click on this, uh, unless you're doing something down here, obviously. So, uh, for example, if I were to click on this, it would hack it. If I were to click on this, it would shrink it down so I wouldn't see anything. And here's Johnny's phone. And if I were to click on this, it would hack it. So you can see uh, there's no longer any any complexity. Every device has a very simple progression. But there is a lot of complexity in how you handle the devices and how the world unfolds since it is uh, considerably more open-ended than you might expect. Now, if I let it just run like this, it'll take quite a while for Johnny to get anything done, and the phone hacking, uh, the hacking attempts are only once per minute, so let's fast forward. Uh, I just got the root here, so I can actually shrink this down now. Um, not that it matters. This is just to keep it clean visually. Ah, so here we have a device detected from talking to Johnny's phone. It says its state is unlocked. Well, the only thing that gets unlocked are doors. Yep. Uh, now, we don't actually know what this is. Uh, the computer knows that it's called a door one, but it doesn't know what device it is, so it doesn't know what the action is. Now, there's another device. Oh, look, I just hacked for a user account. However, a user account isn't as good as a uh, root account, so we'll keep hacking there. There we are. Now we've got root access to a phone. So you say it says not infected, click to infect. Well, what happens when we infect it? Hmm. Now it's acting as a Trojan gateway, and it's connected up to uh, what I'm calling the cracker case, which is a piece of... Uh, it, it's, it's a useful way for me to separate out all of the phone connections that you're going to be wrangling open on the open-ended world. So you've got these plots, uh, which connect up to your basic computer, um, the plot event gateways, but then you've also got a large number of phones that you may have hacked, and you'll be able to use those as you see fit. Now it turns out that uh, in the in the full scope of the game, there will also be characters that come around into uh, and and you can ask them to do stuff. So that would be very similar to these phones in that you can ask them to go into a place and and connect you to it, or you can even ask them to go into a place and tell you what these are by flipping them and then saying, "I just flipped the third floor light." In that case, you'll get the name here, and it's a third floor right light rather than unknown. There's a whole bunch of other things that you'll be able to do if it ever turns into an actual game. But at its heart, everything you can do is all the pieces are one click. It's click to do a, uh, you know, click to do the, the thing that can be done to them. And sometimes that will take them along a progression, and sometimes it'll just toggle back and forth between two states. For example, I can turn the third floor lights on. I can turn the third floor lights off, I can turn them on, I can do that a billion times. Um, now, if the security guard was paying any attention, he would notice that, but he's not. He doesn't care. Um, I'm also going to add in some text messages from Johnny going out to uh, his girlfriend, which, if you've hacked Johnny's phone, you'll be able to see those messages, and he'll tell you, uh, no, honey, I'm on the third floor, so you'll get the labels as they happen. Um, but I haven't gotten that far yet. So that's what I'm doing here. I've uh, I've switched it over so that it's a lot more um, punchy and a lot less uh, um, a lot less listy. Now I probably have to make it so that those text messages um, aren't as ugly, but I'll do that later. So Johnny just disconnected. Uh, so we can see that there is a door here. 
And I think that there's another door. Yep, here. Now this one's the front door. We don't actually have to unlock that one, but we don't know which one is the front and which one is the back at the moment, so we'll unlock both to be safe. And we'll fast forward. And just like before, and when midnight comes around, that lady, her name is Helix, comes by and uh, knocks in the floor, knocks on the door, gets in. Uh, and same basic idea, except for I completely revamped the way it plays.